Hello my dear students, I am Sumalata. In today's class, I am going to explain about uh, group 16 elements, also known as oxygen family. You can also watch uh, previous classes about nitrogen family. Um, you can see in playlist. Um, try to watch a complete video without skipping because uh, I am going to explain each and everything um, use, I mean, uh, useful for you, your examination so that don't skip even uh, one word also uh, nothing but one minute also because uh, i don't know how much it is helpful to you after watching you can able to um, understand about this one uh, so um, after finishing uh, watching this video please do subscribe if you feel useful and informative and like uh, share these videos to your known people mention your words in comment box how do you feel about this class okay now uh, we will go to um, our class sixth year group elements or group 16 elements these are also known as oxygen family another name for this group is chalcogens okay what are these elements you can see those are um, oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium and polonium if you see oxygen atomic number is 8 Sulfur's atomic number is 16, uh, selenium is uh, 34, tellurium is 52 and polonium is the 84. These are the atomic numbers and uh, um, atoms present in the or elements present in the group 16. If you see occurrence of uh, these elements, oxygen is the, uh, if you take uh, in atmosphere, 20.9 four six percent by volume in atmosphere uh, dry air contains 20.946 percent volume and if you take mass that is uh, 46.6 percent by volume present in the earth's crust this is uh, this percentage in air or atmosphere this percentage in um, um, i mean um, earth's crust okay this is in atmosphere condition this is in a uh, earth's crust okay uh, coming to sulfur sulfur if you see most of the cases sulfur available in in the form of its uh, sulfates as well as uh, sulfides forms you can see few examples um, caso4 2h2o is the epsom salt not epsom it is the gypsum salt next epsom salt if you see mg so4 7h2o is the epsom salt this is gypsum salt and this is epsom salt and another one is um, bayrite baso4 next if you see um, um, galena is a pbs lead sulfide next zinc blend zns and another one is copper pyrite that is cufes2 is the copper pyrite and the last one is h2s h2s mainly uh, coming from if you uh, volcanoes are there from that h2s coming in that h2s we, we are going to extract the sulfur in the same way if you take uh, normal uh, the things present around us um, hair hair it is having sulfur keratin is there so in that one sulfur is there and uh, onions garlic these are also having sulfur uh, if uh, while uh, cutting uh, onions we are getting tears um, from our eyes because of uh, breaking of sulfur bonds present in the onion and another one is mustard seeds also uh, next uh, in the, uh, those are um, proteins and eggs these are all uh, sulfur containing materials this is about the occurrence of sulfur and coming to the selenium and tellurium selenium and tellurium um, mainly they are coming from uh, mineral forms of the, uh, selenides and tellurides selenides mineral forms of selenides selenides and uh, this tellurium coming from tellinides or tellurides 
tellurides okay these are the i mean the, from these two forms selenium and tellurium will come if you see polonium polonium coming from decay of thorium and uranium um elements decay of thorium and thorium and uranium why because these two are the radioactive elements polonium also a radioactive element and it is having less half life okay uh, then coming to what is the atomicity of uh, um, group 16 elements all these group 16 elements will will show allotropic nature that is the reason i mean uh, they are uh, exist in a not in a single state so i mean nothing but atomic state if you see oxygen this is present in the form of uh, diatomic nothing but o2 uh, here we are especially discussing about uh, um, allotropic forms of oxygen and sulfur so sulfur uh, atomic state is the polyatomic state it is in the form of s8 polyatomic state oxygen is a diatomic uh, state okay uh, coming to uh, met, i mean um, what are the electronic configurations general electronic configuration and outermost electronic configuration if you see the general electronic configuration for these elements is ns2 np4 this is the general electronic configuration you can see uh, fully filled s orbital and incompletely filled p orbital this is the general electronic configuration if you see uh, general outer electronic configuration for all these elements um, for oxygen 2s2 2p4 uh, for sulfur 3s2 3p4 uh, selenium 4s2 4p4 and 3d10 uh, tellurium 5s2 5p4 um 4d 10 okay polonium 6s2 6p4 and uh, 5d 10 last one is 4f 14 these are the general outer electronic configurations of uh, group 16 elements all are having similar electronic outer electronic configuration um, for all these elements okay uh, after that if you see um, their atomic and ionic radius atomic and ionic radius down the group down the group increases atomic and ionic radius down the group increases i am not writing atomic and ionic radius you should write okay uh, down the group atomic and ionic radius increases because uh, atomic number increases so that shell number will increases so that uh, uh, automatically um, size will be increases and the next one is electro uh, negativity uh, before that uh, ionization enthalpy you can see ionization enthalpy see here i am right okay ionization ie ionization enthalpy values decreases down the group ionization enthalpy values decreases down the group decreases i am not writing down the group you just remember decreases down the group ie means ionization enthalpy ie means ionization enthalpy if you take next one uh, electron gain enthalpy electron electron gain enthalpy is electron gain enthalpy generally from top to bottom decreases but here one exception is there that is from oxygen to uh, sulfur it will increases because sulfur has a compact structure that is the reason uh, from oxygen to sulfur electron gain enthalpy increases and then decreases from oxygen to oxygen to sulfur increases because of its compact structure and then decreases because here also um, size will be increases that is the reason um, electron gain enthalpy will also be decreases and coming to next one 
इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी इफ यू सी आई जस्ट आई एम राइटिंग हियर इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी डिक्रीजेस डाउन द ग्रुप हियर आल्सो डिक्रीजेस डाउन द ग्रुप वाई बिकॉज शल नंबर इंक्रीजेस दैट मीन्स साइज विल इंक्रीजेस सो दैट द न्यूक्लियर फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन टूवर्ड्स द आउटर इलेक्ट्रॉन विल बी डिक्रीजेस सो दैट इट कॉन्ट एबल टू अट्रैक्ट अट्रैक्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम बॉन्ड पेयर्स आर फ्रॉम अदर आइटम सो दैट इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी विल बी डिक्रीजेस डाउन द ग्रुप दैट विल इंडिकेट्स द इनक्रीज इन मेटलिक कैरेक्टर सो दैट यू कैन राइट हियर मेटलिक कैरेक्टर मेटलिक कैरेक्टर इफ यू सी मेटलिक कैरेक्टर इंक्रीजेस डाउन द ग्रुप इंक्रीजेस वाई बिकॉज आई मीन इंस्टेड ऑफ गेनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इट फ्रॉम डाउन द ग्रुप दे कैन एबल टू डोनेट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दैट मीन्स पॉजिटिविटी नेचर इलेक्ट्रो पॉजिटिविटी नेचर विल बी इंक्रीजेस दैट इज द रीजन मेटलिक कैरेक्टर इंक्रीजेस सो नाउ कमिंग टू हियर दीज एलिमेंट्स इफ यू सी ऑक्सीजन एंड सल्फर ऑक्सीजन एंड सल्फर आई एम राइटिंग हियर ऑक्सीजन एंड सल्फर दोज आर द नॉन मेटल्स नॉन मेटल्स and uh, selenium and tellurium these are the selenium and tellurium are the metalloids metalloids and polonium is the metal and also radioactive element polonium is the metal as well as radioactive element see by seeing this order you can easily tell um by going down the group metallic character will increase uh, increases and electronegativity decreases this is about uh, all these properties one more time i am going to uh, repeat this one uh, oxygen available uh, by mass this much of percentage that is 20.946 uh, not mass by volume this is the uh, earth's crust 46.6 percentage in uh, earth's crust it is available next one if you take uh, sulfur sulfur uh, percentage if you see percentage uh, percentage is 0.032.1% percentage only availability of sulfur is the 0.032.1 percentage in this one also earth's crust okay uh, the maximum mainly sulfur available in their uh, sulfate uh, sulfates are sulfide form okay so a few of uh, sulfates you can see Uh, copper sulfate and magnesium sulfate this is the gypsum salt this is epsom salt barite and galena zinc uh, zinc blend uh, copper pyrite and um, h2s nothing but uh, hydrogen sulfide okay uh, and also um, sulfur available in hair proteins wool um, onions garlic eggs okay these are also i mean all these things also having sulfur as a constituent coming to selenium and tellurium selenium available in the mineral forms of selenides and also tellurium available in the mineral forms of uh, tellurides mineral forms are metallic forms you can mention any one no problem uh, and also um, polonium available with thorium and uranium decays okay because those are the radioactive elements all these three are the radioactive elements uh, coming to general electronic configuration outer shell electronic configuration is the ns2 np4 and these are the outer shell electronic configurations of each and every element then coming to atomic and ionic radii this one indicates the atomic and ionic radii uh, increases down the group atomic and ionic radii increases down the group and uh, ionization enthalpy decreases down the group here one more point you can see ionization enthalpy if you compare 40 uh, group 14 and group 15 elements group 4 not group 14 group 15 and group 16 elements group uh, 15 elements have more ie IE values when compared to the uh, group 16 elements in their corresponding periods here i am writing you can see uh, this is 
nitrogen phosphorus arsenic this is um, oxygen sulfur selenium and remaining elements also you just imagine uh, these are the periods these are the groups this is uh, um 15th group this is the 16th group if you compare uh, in horizontal way 15th group ele uh, elements have more ie value when than compared to the 16th group elements why because these are having uh, 15th group elements are having uh, completely filled s orbital and incomplete i mean uh, not incompletely half filled p orbital so these two things will give uh, um, extra stability to the atoms that is the reason 15th group will uh, gets more stable than a 16th group elements and then next coming to the electron gain enthalpy electron gain enthalpy oxygen to sulfur increases and then decreases and then next one is what um, here electronegativity character electronegativity character decreases down the group because of size increases so along with that metallic character increases see which one is i mean which one are the metals non metals and metalloids here oxygen sulfur non metals selenium selenium tellurium are the metalloids polonium is a metal and also it is the radioactive element also polonium okay this is about up to this extent then we will continue you can take screenshot or you can write just try to maintain um, one notes for my classes then you will get uh, good information together only okay uh, we, we will move to the next characteristics the next character is melting and boiling points before that density you can see density density if you observe from down the group down the group density will increases density will increases increases after that you can see about melting and boiling points mp and bp here mp means melting point boil bp means boiling point here melting and boiling points increases increases up to tellurium and then and then decreases for polonium just remember uh, melting and boiling points uh, increases up to tellurium tellurium and uh, decreases for uh, polonium because of uh, inert pair effect uh, shown by the polonium okay uh, up to this one um, physical um, properties completed about um, um, group 16 elements then we will move to um, chemical properties i'm going to rub this chemical properties chemical properties first one i am writing i mean i mean i'm going to discuss about uh, oxidation states oxidation states oxidation states here especially um, by 16th group elements plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 and minus 2 oxidation states all these shown by group 16 elements so among all these which one is stable and which one is not, uh, unstable you can see if you uh, take oxygen for oxygen plus 2 uh, not plus 2 minus 2 is the stable oxidation state but but for OF2 it is the plus 2 oxidation state okay for oxygen minus 2 oxidation state OF2 it is the plus 2 oxidation state okay uh, next one if you see um, plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 oxidation states are shown by uh, sulfur to polonium if you go to minus 2 polonium toughly shows minus 2 oxidation uh, state polonium toughly shows toughly shows minus 2 oxidation state okay uh, remaining these three are shown by sulfur selenium tellurium and polonium okay uh, coming to the stability of these oxidation states down the group down the group plus 2 oxidation state and plus 6 oxidation state decreases plus 2 and plus 6 decreases 
um, pl why plus 6 decreases because of inert pair effect down the group plus 4 oxidation state will be increases that means stability of plus 4 oxidation state will be increases because here um, shielding effect is uh, taking place uh, I mean uh, shielding effect plays the major role okay next one um, if you see plus 4 and plus 6 all that means uh, sulfur selenium tellurium polonium forms uh, um, plus 4 uh, compounds with plus 4 and plus 6 uh, uh, oxidation states plus 4 plus 6 in both uh, uh, cases they will form covalent compounds only they will form covalent compounds only especially they will form they will form covalent compounds in all these two cases this is about oxidation states then coming to anomalous uh, behavior of oxygen this is first one Second one you can see anomalous, anomalous behavior, anomalous behavior of oxygen if you see, oxygen is different from other elements of same group because it is having less size and more electronegativity nature that is the reason oxygen uh, different from other elements of the same group less size or small size and more electro negativity more electro negativity shown by oxygen because of these two reasons if you take water molecule in water molecule we have seen strong hydrogen bonding strong strong hydrogen bonding but we can't we can't see the same hydrogen bonding in h2s because of features will be vary here we can't see hydrogen bonding in h2s because of high size and less electronegativity okay this is about anomalous behavior of oxygen if you see covalency of oxygen covalency of oxygen uh, is covalency covalency of oxygen is 4 and covalency of other elements sulfur selenium tellurium and polonium shows 6 okay covalency 6 in their uh, excited state levels okay uh, this is about anomalous behavior next coming to third one that is reactivity with reactivity reactivity with hydrogen if you see reactivity with hydrogen especially in um, I mean uh, uh, group 16 elements we have seen H2E type hydrides H2E type hydrides so see H2 H2E type hydrides we have seen okay uh, here E is nothing but uh, oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, polonium. That means group 16 element. Okay. Uh, if you go down the group, trends in hydrogen, uh, I mean hydrides uh, try to observe. For, from H2O to H, uh, H2TE, the bond energy will be decreases. Bond energy, see, bond energy and nothing but bond dissociation energy bond energy is nothing but <clears throat> bond dissociation energy and thermal energy thermal energy decreases down the group decreases why because the stability of hydrides down the group will be decreases that is the reason bond energy <clears throat> and thermal energy will be decreases um, if you see acidic character acidic acidic character and reducing nature reducing nature and bond length bond length these three will be increases down the group these three will be increases increases 
down the group this is about reactivity with halogen and trends in not halogen hydrogen trends in hydrides okay and then coming to next one reactivity with oxygen reactivity with oxygen you can see reactivity with oxygen in group 16 all these elements can able to form evo2 and evo3 type oxides evo2 evo2 and evo3 type oxides will form e is nothing but group 16 element okay uh, here um, if you take um, acidic nature of uh, these oxides all these two types of oxides are having acidic in nature acidic in nature acidic in nature down the group down the group acidic nature and reducing nature will be decreases acidic and reducing reducing nature or reducing power decreases decreases okay uh, so that SO2 you can take SO2 is the strong or um, good reducing agent SO2 is the reducing agent and um, TeO2 is the oxidizing agent oxidizing agent this is about uh, reactivity with um, oxygen then you can see about uh, reactivity with halogens all uh, group 16 elements will form e x2 e x4 and e x6 type halides dihalides tetrahalides hexahalides if you see dihalides e x2 type halides except selenium except selenium remaining all will form remaining all will form uh, di nothing but dihalides of chlor chlorine and bromine nothing but here you can also um, try to understand uh, except selenium dichlorides and dibromides will be formed by all these uh, group 16 elements okay di chlorides dichlorides and dibromides formed by these elements dibromide i mean all these um, uh, dihalides are having hybridization sp3 hybridization tetrahedral tetrahedral shape okay all these are having sp3 hybridization and tetrahedral uh, shape then coming to uh, ex4 type if you see ex4 type tetrahalides here we can see all tetrahalides are having hybridization sp3 dehybridization and shape is trigonal or uh, shape or nothing but here geometry trigonal by pyramidal trigonal by pyramidal shape and also uh, geometry this is the geometry if you observe shape is uh, sisa shape here two types of bonds we are going to observe that is one is axial and another one is equatorial bonds if you see um, equatorial place there lone pair of electrons going to be arranged okay uh, s f4 is the gas sf4 is the gas s e f4 is the liquid T E F four is the or F four instead of ah uh, F four only F four or X four especially fluorine you can write this is the solid this is the solid see 
ex ex e x4 type sp3 d hybridization trigonal bipyramidal shape uh, geometry and shape is the seesaw shape uh, here equatorial and axial bonds we are going to see in ex uh, in equatorial place uh, lone pairs uh, going to be arranged um, if you take some example sf4 is the gas sef4 is the liquid tef4 is the solid okay uh, then uh, coming to hexa halides hexa halides all all um, group 16 elements will form hexa halides especially uh, hexa halides of fluorine will be stable for group 16 elements in that uh, hexa halides of fluorine see i'm writing hexa halides of fluorine nothing but ef6 ef6 halides are stable EF6 halides are stable. In that EF6 also, if you see, SF6 is the SF6 is the uh, uh, extremely stable because of the steric uh, hindrance reasons. This is uh, extremely stable because of the steric hindrance reasons. Okay. Uh, now you can try to understand uh, stability of halide ions. If you see stability of halide ions. Cl um, fluorine minus is more stable than chlorine uh, Cl minus and uh, this is uh, more stable than Br minus then it will be more stable than I minus these are the stability of halide ions and one more thing mono halides if you see most of the cases mono halides are in a dimer dimerization form suppose you can see uh, dimerization form of mono halides s2 cl2 okay s e2 cl2 uh, okay s e2 cl2 t e2 cl2 like that dimer dime i mean mono halides are in the form of a dimerization state these mono halides in dimerization state they will going to be uh, involved in disproportionation suppose you can take an example here um, two moles of um, SeCl2 you can take two moles of SeCl2 that will gives you SeCl4 and three moles of Se three moles of Se okay here it is having um, plus 4 oxidation state here it is the 0 here it is the plus 2 so this proportionation happens uh, during this reaction okay um, this is about uh, um, um, physical properties and uh, chemical properties and the general introduction of a group 16 elements uh, try to make a notes by listening my classes if uh, uh, if you feel uh, it is useful and informative. Uh, please do subscribe and share these videos to your known people. Uh, don't forget to like. Okay. Uh, uh, just mention your words in comment box. How do you feel about this session? Uh, thanks for watching uh, uh, my dears. Uh, we will meet in the next class.